Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power. And hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. Do you ever have a day that you're like, what in the world is going on? That was my day yesterday. And I know it was because I did not start my day like I normally do in prayer, setting myself in this calm, peace, state of mind with joy and just honestly expecting the unexpected. I honestly got up, I did my radio show with Relevant Radio and then my podcast, I read readings, I then the world changed. This is where I had had plans to go to Mass, I was going to go to lunch with a friend, I was going to pray the rosary after Mass, this is what I was going to do. It was a rainy, yucky day. I felt tired. I didn't want to do anything but just stay in my sweatpants and sweatshirt and just hang around the house, maybe even get a nap in. So my plans that I had in my mind did not happen because I truly believe that my body just overruled my mind. I could have done exactly what I've been saying for the last couple of weeks, changed my state of being. I could have taken a moment and cast out the laziness, the yawning, the tiredness. It could have been an attack. But guess what? Who wasn't paying attention? What had happened was we had a couple of things come our way, something about taxes and something about some other stuff that I had to look up. And then I started getting into my videos, um, my reality, I'm sorry, my <laughs> relevant reality reflections, relevant radio. Those are some four heavy R words and I get them screwed up sometimes. Sorry about that. But I wanted to take my radio reflections, the ones from relevant radio and put them on my YouTube. And then I had to do these edits so that I didn't get dinged for the songs and you know, me and technology are not friends. And it was a long, frustrating kind of process, but I wasn't getting frustrated. The cool thing was this. I just want to stop and say, how was I during this time? I was peaceful. You have to understand anything with taxes, anything with numbers, and anything with technology. Really get my stress up. I get very frustrated. Yesterday I was trying to upload those radio segments and my internet connection kept knocking off. I mean, it could have been 10, 12, 15 times and nothing was rocking my peace. So I did pay attention to that. But I reached out to my friend. I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm just not feeling good. Like I am just lazy and tired. And I was like that almost all day, but I still kept plugging along and doing my thing. So guess what I decided not to do? Go to mass. I decided not to pray the rosary. And I didn't go to lunch with my friend. And I hadn't worked out. And so it was two o'clock. I put a video out there. You may have seen it on YouTube. I didn't brush a tooth until 2.30. <laughs> I mean, that's how lazy I felt yesterday. And then I finally went downstairs. Now my husband hasn't been feeling good, so he's been downstairs. I was wondering if maybe I caught something too, but no, it was just me and 
just being lazy, if you will, I think I may have honestly been attacked. If, if I was paying attention, that was my stomach growling in case you heard that. If I was paying attention, I would have cast him out, but I wasn't. I used the excuse that, well, maybe I didn't get a good night's sleep. So this, uh, so yesterday I went downstairs, it was about three o'clock. Finally, after I got done posting my video and all this other stuff, I'm finally now ready. And I said to my husband, I haven't done any of my God things today. And he's like, wow. I go, yeah, I'm going to go up and do it. But I did something different. I didn't do what I normally do. So my deal is this long rosary, my rosary meditations on YouTube. Why? Because I actually pay attention and I actually meditate. And every single Hail Mary, I have a new meditation. And I love it. Honestly, I'm really grateful that God put that thought in my mind and gave me all those beautiful reflections. There's times where tears come to my eyes during that. But that was not the one I prayed. Instead, I prayed the one on Relevant Radio's app. And I just kind of went through the motions. As a matter of fact, about the second mystery, I thought, well, why don't I go ahead and do some kind of stretches and, and, you know, some arm workouts. You know, I was doing arm dips on my chair. <laughs> I was doing push-ups. I had weights. I was doing all these different arm exercises. And I know there are things out there. I think there's something called soul core, which is, I think, a Catholic kind of stretching strength kind of thing with the rosary not like a yoga thing. And I know you can do multitasking, but my big deal was I want to pray and meditate. I was paying attention, but then I wasn't. I mean, if you think about it, how do you pay full attention to the rosary when I'm doing tricep dips and my arms are burning? You're not. Let's be honest. And then it came down to some meditation and some mental prayer, and I did that, and it was wonderful. That was good. But what I had noticed during the time where I was moving my body and through meditation, that my energy level had changed. So it was one of these things where I thought I could have changed this myself earlier. I didn't have to feel tired. I could have raised my emotional state of being, my physical state of being. I could have gotten excited about life, grateful for God. Like, you know, when you wake up and you feel that way or how it is when God comes into your life in a big way and you just know it and you're like, oh my goodness, thank you so much. This is so great. Or when you walk away from that temptation or when you're able to squash that thought and cast it out. Those are beautiful moments of joy. Honestly, I'm, I was searching. What kind of word? What kind? Of, it's the simplest word in the world. It's God-given joy. And you feel it. It's like when you walk out on a spring day and you've gone through the, the worst winter ever and you're you just feel light and you feel grateful and you're taking it all in and yesterday I wasn't taking it all in I wasn't paying attention things were happening to me that I could have stopped did I need to do those things when I was doing them one of them I did. I needed to get that one done. But the other ones, no. I didn't have to do it that moment, that day. Big truck. Wow, people got some loud cars. You probably didn't hear it, but it was loud to me. To the point that I actually stopped talking. It was so loud. <laughs> All right, but I'm not mad at myself, everyone. This is what the journey is about learning, paying attention, and then trying to apply that learning. It's the same thing with food that I bring into my body. How do I feel after eating this? Or how do I feel after not eating? There have been times when I'm like, no, I'm not hungry. 
And then an hour later, I'm like, ooh, I really should have ate because that was real hunger. I don't know about you, but if I go too long without eating, sometimes I kind of have that nauseous feeling in my stomach so that when I do eat, my body's like, whoa, wait, we're not ready. (laughs) So sometimes I have that and I need to pay attention. I also need to pay attention to how my body feels when I'm moving or working out, not, not intentionally working out, but just moving around the house. And then paying attention to everything else, messages from God through nature, through, you know, everything that we consume. And the promptings of the Holy Spirit within us. Because all the time, he's prompting us. And I didn't have an uncomfortable feeling about yesterday. Like I said, I was all peaceful. I just had my my top things that I wanted to focus on in this Lenten season still on my list. Now, did I do them as great as I could? Oh, by the way, I also attended mass while I was doing the workouts as well. So I was multitasking, kind of shoving it all in together. I got it done, but it wasn't exactly the way that I should have done it. Very different than me actually going to mass. Very different than me going into adoration to pray the rosary. Very different than me having a moment to work out independently of everything else. I kind of pulled a cane yesterday. I gave God what I had left. Oh, I hate when I do that. But I'm not going to get upset, feel guilty. That was yesterday. What I am going to do is take the learnings from it and say, okay, so this morning, I had an awesome night's sleep. I slept like a rock. And I woke up. My husband went downstairs. It was 5.45. Pretty late. Usually pretty late for us. Me, lately. I mean, I've been... Once he gets up, and he's a 5 o'clock in the morning kind of guy sometimes, but he's not feeling so well, so he's been sleeping in later. Once he gets out of the bed, it's my time. I shut the door, and then I begin my prayer. And that's what I did. And I was like, okay, I feel a little tired. And during that meditation, I was all about the spirit of God filling me with joy, filling me with enthusiasm, filling me with excitement and zeal to start this day and gratitude and joy just to be so happy to be alive. Now, had I done that the day before and gotten up before my relevant radio interview, Maybe I wouldn't have had any kind of laziness or anything come over me. The weather has definite impact on us, but we don't have to have our external circumstances do anything to us. This is the whole point, the whole deal of taking every thought captive and making them obedient to Jesus. And when I think about thoughts, I want to be joyful. I don't want to be afraid. I don't want to worry. I don't want to feel guilty. I don't want to, you know, kick myself in the pants. Because normally, I would be like, what an idiot you were yesterday. And even yesterday, I wasn't mad at myself. I was just like, come on, girl, let's do this. So that's all I'm saying is don't be upset if you have a wild day that doesn't go at all like you planned. Learn from it. What were my learnings? I needed to get up and do my meditation and my mental prayer before anything during the day. Today, I have an interview on Iowa Catholic Radio. It's not until 745, but honestly, I needed to get things done before that. I needed to set myself right for the day. And then I also needed to say, okay, wait a minute. Oh, all right. Let me be, let me be honest with you. 
There was another reason I didn't go. So I didn't go to Mass on Saturday because my husband went out and power washed in the middle of winter. I mean, he was freezing in 30 degree weather, just trying to get the salt off of our cars. And he had said, you're not going to take my your car out in this rain, are you? And so I laughed and I'm like, he said that Friday night. So Saturday morning, it was raining and I thought, you know, I can, I can attend mass. So I made a decision, but I truly attended mass. Like I was kneeling and standing and participating, all of that. I wasn't working out doing something else. And then Sunday, I'm sorry, Monday, yesterday comes and it's the same thing, but it's way worse from a rain perspective. So that did come into my mind. I was like, well, I don't have to get the car messy today. That could have been another excuse, but I'm throwing it in there that there was another reason. But I also didn't attend mass or pray my rosary or meditate. It was a, it was a totally different day because of the fact that I didn't start it with God. And I also wasn't paying attention and I didn't deliver any of the spirits that could have been making me feel lazy, yawning, tiredness. I mean, you know, all of those beautiful spirits. I haven't read them from the book for a while, but you can go back to one of my podcasts that go through evil spirits. We need to be aware of the kinds of spirits that attack us. So, Live and learn. I just wish that I didn't pull a cane yesterday. So my decision was to be an able for God today and to give him my best. So far, mental prayer, check. I'm going to be on the radio at 745, check. I'm going to go to mass at 830, check. I'm going to pray the rosary after that, check. And then sometime, hopefully it'll be a nice day. I see a little bit of blue. There's no sun. Oh, cannot wait for spring. And I'm going to work out. Check. If it's your will, Lord, and with you, they will be beautiful moments today. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to share. This girl is not perfect. This girl will share with you the ups and downs, but I'm also going to share with you how I'm learning from them, applying them, and not beating myself up. God wants me to learn, to love, to lead my life with him. And he's not mad at me. God loves me the same even if I commit a mortal sin. Yes, I've cut myself off from him, but he loves me, calls me, wants me back. I just have to come back. And I could have let everything go yesterday, but I didn't. I was like, I am getting this done, but I didn't do it very well. I just mushed them all together. So again, live and learn. And don't be beating yourself up out there because it does no good. Just make sure you do better the next time because that's the journey of life, my dear spiritual companions. Okay, I love you all. We're going to pray. I forgot about that. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, And with the Holy Spirit within us, we ask that you help us be ables, that we give you our first fruits, that we give you our first heart, and that we give you our time, and we ask that you come into our lives in a big way so that we can do your will, that you message us and communicate with us clearly so there is no confusion And that you continue to hold us in your loving arms as we walk through life, knowing that even in the bad times, you are always there calling us back to you. Help take away any guilt, any shame, any judgment, 
any criticality that we may have about ourselves when we fall so that we can get back up, love ourselves as you love us. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Mary and St. Joseph, pray for us. Okay, get on out there. Go be love. Live and learn what's going on in your life. What are you noticing? Pay attention. Sit with it. Pray on it. Lord, I think I get it. (laughs) Is this what you're saying? And then let it come into your life. Learn like a child. Remember, children don't feel guilty. They make mistakes, they learn, and they move on. That's what we've got to do, knowing that the Lord will never take his love from us. Never. All righty. Find something more with God. Soul, mind, and body. Have a blessed and inspired day.